my country lay within the vast desert. When the sun rose into the sky, a burning wind punished my lands, searing the world. And when the moon climbed into the dark of night, a frigid gale pierced our homes. No matter when it came, the wind carried the same thing, death. But the winds that blew across the green fields of Hyrule brought something other than suffering and ruin. I... I coveted that wind, I suppose. It could only be called fate. That here, I would again gather the three with the crests. But I should lay my hand on that which grants the wishes of the beholder. That when power, wisdom, and courage come together, the gods would have no choice but to come down. The power of the gods, the Triforce, he who touches it will have whatever he desires granted. Already the crest of wisdom is mine. All that remains Oh damn! Oh damn! Oh damn! I almost got her in the head! Do not fear. I will not kill you. I merely have need of the power that dwells within you. Now, let us put an end to that which binds us together. Gods, hear that which I desire. Expose this land to the rays of the sun once more. Let them burn forth. Give Hyrule to me. He who touches it will have whatever he desires granted. That is what you said, is it not, asshole? Lol. First. Gods of the Triforce, hear that which I desire, because I was first. Hope. I desire hope for these children. Give them a future. Wash away this ancient land of Hyrule. Let a ray of hope shine on the future of the world. Where did he come from? Did he just randomly just like pop out of nowhere? Whatever and let our destinies finally be fulfilled. Ganondorf, may you drown with Hyrule, AKA, you can go fuck yourself. That's how you say it back in the ancient Hyrule, or whatever, whatever, I don't even know, just chill. This is foolishness. 
a future for you? What are you laughing at, Ganondorf? You're insane. Blake, I'm sorry. I overslept. Don't say it like that so cutely! That- No! This is supposed to be a serious moment! Why are you saying it like all cute stuff? And like, I think it's time for us to say goodbye to this place. This is a serious moment! Why are you trying to be cute? Stop that! We must return to the world above. Back to our ocean. Why are you winking at me? And, I don't know, that face looks weird. Very well then. Let me just show you. Your future. Yes. Allow me to show you just what hope you have. See how much your precious Triforce is worth. Natty night, fuckers! Hey! That's not nice. And here we are, guys! The final boss fight! Ganondorf! I'll use this bow to cover you! Attack as best as you can! Basically, I'm gonna steal one of your best weapons! Even though it's not gonna ever hit him at all! So what we need to do is distract Ganondorf from hitting her for hitting us. So what we need to do is just basically rely on distracting him with ourselves, so Zelda can get a good shot. Make it count, bitch! Yeah, there we go! When he's down, we can get in a little shots in edgewise until he blocks. You can also use reaction commands, but uh, you're just gonna want to fight like this. And I have to admit, this is a pretty epic boss fight, although it's fairly easy, as I'm saying, as I'm getting my ass handed to me. Oh, nice, I got a shot in. Alright, alright, come on, come on, come on, come on. Kim in! There we go, got him again. Ah, damn it, he missed. She missed. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Right, come on. Get a shot in, Zelda! There we go. And then he's gonna decide to take her out. Bitch slap, man. So now we just have to rely on reaction commands, basically, until she wakes up. Woo! Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed. How did I miss? So when he's doing that down attack, that's probably that's the time to hit him. Alright, ooh, camera by me. Oh, wow! I can't believe I did that. But the camera totally the opposite way. Nice! This fight is not hard at all. It's a really easy fight for a boss fight, I must admit. I would say that the Majora's Wrath is harder than this. Uh, and the... <laughs> Does that include with the uh, final de- Without the um, fierce deity mask. And she finally wakes up again. It's gonna take her a while to actually start doing shit. Whoa! Right, there we go. Oh, wow, he dodged. Yeah, now he's gonna go through his dodging phase, where he's basically gonna be able to dodge everything we do. We just have to wait for a specific moment. Oh, come on! You're not really that good, Ganondorf. People for some reason say that this is the fat version of Ganondorf, and I don't know how he can be fat if he's able to be this really, like, nimble. But I guess so. I guess he is, he is kind of the easier one to beat out of all the uh, Ganons that you ever have to fight. I mean, I have to say, Ocarina of Time is a lot harder than this. Oh, it's Twilight Zone, don't even get me started. Man. Blake, you have to distract him. Are you ready? All in for you, and you use your shield. Do you get it? This idea could possibly not go wrong. Let's shoot an arrow at me. Oh wow, that took a lot quicker than I thought it would. All we need to do, wait for reaction command, and... Fatality. What a way to go down. Impaled with a sword through the forehead and then turned to stone. Pretty epic. And we're exhausted, but we did it, guys. We're done with Wind Waker. Right at the end of the game. 
final cutscene. My children, listen to me. I have lived with regretting the past, and I have faced those regrets. If only I could do things over again. Not a day of my life has gone by without my thoughts turning to my kingdom of old. I have lived bound to high rule. In that sense, I was the same as Ganondorf. No, you were cooler! You were a boat! But you. I want you to live for the future. There may be nothing left for you. But despite that, you must look forward and walk a path of hope, trusting that it will sustain you when darkness comes. 2012, I'm joking. Farewell. What? This is the only world that your ancestors were able to leave you. Not going to split timeline theory. Please, forgive us. This scene is so sad. This is a really sad moment of Zelda history. Wait! You could... You could come with us! Yes, of course. We have a ship! We can find it! We will find it! The land that will be the next Hyrule! So... Ah, the child. That land will not be Hyrule. It will be your land. Scattered the seeds of the future. Kira Light! No! Who is gonna talk to me when I sail? I can't talk to a boat that's inanimate. That just looks weird. And Tetra's back to her normal self. I love how I instantly just change emotions. Hi, I have mood swings. There's Kamali with his douchebag face flying in front of me. I want to be a Rito. And our ship. Yay! And the gang's all here. You that fucking scum rat, Nico. Even Errol. Everything ended out right in the end. Errol's safe. Crew's back. It's kind of a weird ending for a Zelda game. It feels really bittersweet. I guess that's kind of how Zelda endings are supposed to feel. Majora's Mask didn't really feel that bittersweet, but this game definitely does. And she has a different uh, shirt on. Huh. That is how a Zelda game is supposed to feel. And look! Even Makar and Medley are here. How perfect. And that, guys, was The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. We are done! Holy shit! This game took forever. 
but I loved playing it again, and I have to say this, uh, aside from the ending of Mother 3, the Wind Waker's ending is probably one of the only endings that I, like, I want, well, I wanted to cry at the ending, because the king dies, he drowns for us, he could have come with, we could have lived on the oasis, there's a butler there. But anyways, guys, that is it for this game. We are done. We have completed everything that is needed for this game. And Quill! Ah! All right. Um, so now just showing a bunch of characters that we've seen throughout this game as we end. This game is so much fun, and it's my favorite GameCube game, or one of them of all time. It's an amazing game, and it's really underrated, and a lot of people hate this game because they're like, oh, you have to sail a lot and stuff. Shut up. This game is, that's, that's what makes this game so great, is the fact of, of just true exploration. I really do feel like I'm exploring this game every time I play it. And I always found out something new about the game. Apparently someone told me in the comments, I totally forgot who you are, I'm sorry. Um, but apparently if you do go off the map, it is, it's just a world. It's, it's a round surface, so you can actually just go on the other side. And I never knew that, but now I do, and I'm glad I do. But yeah, that's it guys, end of the game. But, uh, you know, technically, we're not 100%. I'm going to quickly explain why we're not 100% for two reasons. One thing is known as the Tingle Tuner. You remember getting this at the very beginning of the game when you free Tingle on Windfall Island. I explained this a little bit before, but basically, you can connect your Game Boy up to your Nintendo GameCube, and with this, you can find some statues that are lying around the Great Sea, and if you hand them back to the White Tingle, he'll give you 750 rupees. I do not count this as true part of 100% because the reward is 750 rupees, which is not really all that needed. Plus, I don't have the controller to connect to my Game Boy. Plus, my Game Boy isn't even really working anymore. But I don't really find it to be all that useful. It's I've never done it, and you don't need to do it. The other thing we couldn't even do anyways, and that is known as the uh, statue side quest. Now... Uh, if you remember, uh, Forest Haven, I'm pretty sure you remember where Forest Haven is, but on one of the little islands off the peak where you sail off to the Forbidden Woods, there is something, no, there's this little island that has a little hatchet that will lead down. I think we did land on that island, if I'm correct, but, uh, there, uh, is something that's called the Nintendo Gallery, which is, um... Uh, it's you know it's near the forest haven and in here is a guy who uh, named Karlov and I remember his name but basically if you have your color pictograph I think it has to be colored I don't know if you can hear the Zelda's a little by but he will make if you send him pictures of everyone on, um, in the game he will give you a statue of it and you have all these galleries that will collect in order to get 100% of this game you need to get a statue of not only just all the NPCs of the game but the enemies and the bosses, yeah. So it's really hard and it cannot be done in one um, uh, uh, file, save file. You need at least two. And, um, you know, I don't really consider this to be something that I would recommend doing. It's, I mean, I do have a file of where I'm doing it. It's on my different uh, memory card. And I'm still not done with it, because I just, I don't consider it to be part of true 100%. If you want to do it, that's fine. You don't get any real special reward of it. It's just to show that you've done it. So, like I said, I don't really find it all that worthwhile to do it. So, those are two things that I didn't do, that I could have done, but I didn't. So, I'm not going to do it. Oh, man. I'm so sad that this game's already over, but I'm so happy that it is, too. I'm more happy that this game's over. Uh, I'm going to wait a I'm actually finishing this on the last day of Thanksgiving break. Which means after this, no more Let's Play and work for a while. So you guys get to see all the uploads, because I'm uploading still. But, yeah. I think it's time when we ended this game. So guys, I hope you really enjoyed watching this game. I know this game wasn't as popular. I haven't really been all that popular um, since Sly 3, but whatever. I feel like that this is probably one of my more better Let's Plays. It was fun to do, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. And if you've never played this game, get it. You absolutely need it. And of course, the last two bubbles, we have our Tetra and Link. How perfect is that? This game is just one of the best games and it's 
It is so great. And we're back on Outside Island with our King of Red Lion ship. He's not re he's not active anymore, and you'll see in a little bit. Because after Daphne's drowned with Hyrule, as you can see, there's no pupils in his eyes. It's just a normal ship now, which is really sad. It it's kind of makes me sad because as, as little as you see him, I kind of wish that um, he was still around with you. But then again... The best settings in the game are when you don't get everything you want. And now we have caught the wind in our sails. I don't know if the wind is still there. So I wonder if it does. Anchors away! Hold the tiller steady. As are for our destination. The wind will guide us. What a perfect ending to this game, huh? And yeah, we see our grandmother again, the little Errol. Oh, how sad is this? I don't know where we're going to go. We found everything. And we're sailing off to the north. The end. The Legend of Zelda. We are done with The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Let's Play 15 is drawn to a close. Ah, oh, man. Well, guys, that's it. I've shown everything I can with this Let's Play. We're ending off here. This game will save to make a file for a second playthrough to keep trying to save data, save our new quest log. We're going to save it to a different quest log. Because I want to keep it on the other one. So, guys, uh, another thing, too, that I just want to mention that in the second go-through, you don't need to wear uh, the the Hero of Time clothes. You can actually wear your lobster pajamas if you want, but, you know, I don't really consider it to be all that worthwhile. I'm not going to save over my old data. I'm going to save over this one. So now, that is our new uh, playthrough. And it takes us back to the main title screen. The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Well, guys, I have been the Unfox Let's Plays, aka Blake. I hope you guys really enjoyed this game, as I have. This game has been so much fun for me to do, but now it's time we draw to a close. Um, I'm currently already starting to work on Let's Plays number 16, 17, 18, and 19, which are all going to be fairly short games, all going to be really fun, because I'm gearing up for what's going to be uh, uh, coming over through the next year. So, I hope you guys all had an awesome time watching this. I hope you guys... Sorry this took so long, by the way. I know this game took incredibly wrong, long, wrong. Uh, but, finally we're done. So, this is Neon Fox signing out, saying thank you for watching my Let's Plays, and I hope you watch my other ones. Um, and thank you for all who have subscribed, commented, liked all these videos. I'm grateful for, you know, your appreciation of me. And that's all for now, guys. I will see you all later.